And then recently I heard, yeah, you should get you should get shot. If somebody's like, hey, I'm going to shoot you or stab you, say, hey, shoot me. Yeah, well, it depends on where they shoot you and where they stab you. Like, if they stab you in the top of the head, you probably going to be okay. Unless you're on The Walking Dead. Those guns, like those knives in The Walking Dead, they go right in your head. Yeah. You ever notice that? Uh, you know how hard it is to stab someone in the fucking skull and go right through their skull into their brain? It would be hard, huh? Yeah, unless you get them in the temple, it's difficult. But well, in The Walking you... Dead, they just... Yeah. It's like they're made out of goo. Yeah. Do you still watch it? No. Yeah. No, it's terrible. And then also in The Walking Dead, the arrows don't go through the head, which is crazy. Because yeah, why is it so easy? Stuck, huh? They just get stuck. It's more probably, it probably just seems more exciting. Yeah, I mean, it's just special effects. But also the arrows have field tips. They're not even using broadheads. They're using like target tips. Oh, I don't know that much about arrows. Yeah, if you look at an arrow, like in The Walking Dead, mm -hmm. the tips, they don't have like a big broad head, like a big cutting edge yeah they have a point just a little pointy point and that's enough to kill the zombie and then you got to pull the arrow out and that's fucking stupid yeah i'm trying to think if a zombie was coming at me and i didn't have a weapon what i would use <clears throat> i guess i would probably because i they can't buy i think if they bite you then you're done that's the whole problem you'd have to, to probably you. outrun them or try and get them dizzy you know <laughs> <laughs> what do you think would get a zombie dizzy i think a lot of cutbacks probably a lot of uh you know, 180s, 720s. My but, favorite you know, person in the Walking Dead was the lady with the samurai sword. She fucked everybody up. Yeah, she. they have a new spinoff, actually. It was the, just her? And I think it's her and someone else. Yeah, she had the dreadlocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. After a while, though, like, how many zombies can you watch get killed? Like, enough. Yeah, it's almost weird if people are still watching it. <laughs> yeah, if you're, like, a big fan. You're the like, zombie. I, this new season is my favorite. Yeah. Like, yeah. What? <laughs> It's, I think it's better now than ever. You know, because it's like we've gotten over just killing zombies all day, and, uh, you know, and then then it started getting scary again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, and none of the zombies, I wish they could cut away every now and then to some of the zombies trying to fuck on the side. You, you think know? zombies fucking make new zombies? Bro, come on. If you're a zombie, dude, you know there's some cool-ass zombies over <laughs> on the side trying to get some of that fucking zompus, bro. I feel like it would be real easy to kill all the zombies. I don't think that it would be the kind of epidemic that they claim in those shows. They move slow. Okay. So yeah. they move slow, but they're undef they they just keep coming back, man. Yeah, but like if zombies are coming to Texas, they're going to get gunned down. Okay. It's not they're not going to make it. But what about at nighttime when people who are out there shooting start to get tired and they got to rest? They go inside. The zombies are like clawing at the door. They can't even figure out doorknobs. They're idiots. Yeah. Ah, ah. <laughs> I need to take a break. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to shut this door. Yeah. Take a nap on the kitchen floor. <laughs> They're clawing at the doors. <laughs> ah, ah. You wake up, brew some coffee, <laughs> reload, <laughs> get out there. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Yeah. <laughs> Clean your porch off. Dude, you're right. Zombies are fucking idiots. Right? They're idiots. The scary zombies 28 days later. Those are the scariest. <clears throat> I don't you ever think seen I've, that movie? I don't think I've seen that. Best zombie movie of all time. Unquestionably, hands down. It's number one. Um, what about Bram Stoker's Dracula? Do you remember that movie? Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. So fucking good, dude. Fuck yeah. That was a good movie, man. That was the best movie. God, it was best, good. Best vampire movie, rather. That was that was really good. Remember how scared you used to get when you were a kid? Did you ever get fucking really scared? <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Yeah, little kids are vulnerable. Scared. You think vampires might be real. Maybe people don't know. Especially when we were kids, there was no fucking internet. Yeah. So you just like, ask somebody. If they were dumb, then you were dumb. People would tell you the ghosts were real, Bigfoot's real, yeah. everything. Yeah. Gary Oldman was the best Dracula. He was good in that Bram yeah. Stoker's Dracula. He was good. Mm, let me think. Look, can we see yeah. an image of it? Yeah, he he was a bunch of different like ages in that movie because like depending on how much blood he got, he if he got the good blood, he would come oh. back to life again. He got more young. Yeah, do you oh, remember? Yeah, fuck like, yeah. Like there was there was a scene where he was like very very old, mm. and he met Keanu Reeves. Remember? I don't remember that good at the moment. Like something happened. I think he was shaving, and uh, oh, Keanu yeah, and he cut, cut himself. Yeah, he cut himself. Yeah, and then he's yeah he's helping him shave, wasn't he? Yes. Shaving him, and then Gary Oldman licks the blade. <sighs> yeah. Oh. See if you can find that that scene. Old 
old Dracula because he was old Dracula and then he was young Dracula and Winona Ryder fell in love with him. She was beautiful. Oh, she was so hot. Isn't that amazing, like, though, that like women in these shows and movies like Twilight, they fall in love with vampires. Like what? Psychologically. What's going on? There it is. See how old he was? Yeah. This is old Dracula. Let me hear his voice. Look at his hair, too. Vampires, baby. Happiness you bring. Count Dracula. I am Dracula. Oh. And I bid you welcome, Mr. Harcourt, to my house. Blood gays, yep. they call them a lot of people. Blood gays? Vampires. Look, look how they had to, they used to have to, oh, he fucked up. He walked in. Oh, you didn't he see his shadow, in. though. Exactly. But it's also, you walked in. You're not supposed to walk in. When they when they invite you, or if you invite them in your house, you're fucked. You. Yes. Oh. <laughs> it is no laughing matter. Dude, is this a Hampton Inn in Memphis? This shit looks insane, bro. <laughs> we, Dracula's have a right to be proud. Damn. What was it? What was he mad what about? Back it up so we can hear what he's mad at him for. The relationship was not entirely successful. Oh, yes. <laughs> it is no laughing matter. We, Dracula's have a right to be proud. What devil or witch was ever so great as a killer whose blood flows in these veins? Okay. Interesting. Okay. It didn't seem so good. <laughs> you know, when I saw it in the movies, it was pretty fucking good. But right there in that clip, I feel like many times on this show, yeah. I have said, man, there's a scene. You got to see this scene. You and watch the bad. scene, you're like, that scene kind of sucks. Yeah. I mean, that happens more often than not, right? Yeah. It's at least, it's more, yeah, it's more than you would think it would be because it's at least 50 50, probably like, oh, fuck, that's stupid. Well, Did, how old is that movie, too? 92. 92. Did you think it was going to be j bad, Jamie? Whenever he said, let's watch a scene, did you think it was going to be a bad one or did you have any pre thought? I don't even remember that movie. I don't think I've even seen that movie, so I have no idea. Dude, I think women <clears throat> like vampires because, first of all, they offer that live forever. So women yeah, want to live forever. They want to be young forever. They want to be immortalized in like a young space. Yeah. Um, and maybe the dude would do the dirty work and they'll just profit off of it beauty sleep yeah i get that beauty sleep in a coffin you fucking sleep sleep nice castles and then you, you rise like this yeah <gasps> yeah 